several items here we can use as a pumpkin. So I'm going to start with the biggest one first. This is a grapevine wreath that I painted. So we're going to make a pumpkin out of it. side is the best. And I also have some branches that I cut that will make an, a good stem. As soon as my glue gun heats up, then I will glue that in place. thought I would put a little bit of mesh at the top and some ribbon. I also have begonia leaves and begonia leaves honestly look similar to pumpkin leaves. So I'm going to put a couple of those in place. need to get some pipe cleaners. I can use ones to disguise or I can add some shimmery green ones on to the stem. This is about 18 inches, I think. Nope, 16. It's just a piece of frayed mesh. It's called frayed burlap mesh. And I'm just going to attach it to the top of the grapevine. What I'm going to do with this is curl it, make it look like part of the vine. This was just a grapevine that I spray painted orange. If you are leaving me a comment, I'm not seeing it, so I do go back at the end. Hi Anita, how are you? The video for the pizza pan should be under videos. It was the last one I did on Monday, so it should be in there. I also downloaded it to YouTube, so it'll be on Facebook or YouTube. thicker one looks better than that one. I want to peel off some of the bark. It's just a fallen tree branch from the yard that I cut up. get 
this down in there so it'll stay. Now I do have some rust, some foil leaves. Like I said, I've got some of the begonia that looks similar to a pumpkin. You know, Anita, if you can't find it. I don't know if I like that. Not really like it. These are some burlap leaves from the dollar store. some of these. Let's start at the bottom. Looking for more yellow and brown. There we go. There's some with um, acorns on it. I like it better. I also have a welcome sign I can add to it if I felt like it. Thank you, Peggy. Oh, good. Look forward to that, Anita. It's the green that's just not looking right. I think that's it. It's taken away from the rustic that I'm trying to achieve. So I think we'll just pull it down and back. I'm gonna use it to tie this one end down.
Do y'all see okay? That's better. This rope is a rope that has wire in it. I'm gonna do and get rid of this all together. It's throwing my design off. I don't like it. So we'll put some of this under here. will hot glue the tips down to keep it from fraying. And then let's wind this up. Just going to scatter some of this throughout just to give it a tiny bit of color. Making sure I'm not missing any of your comments. Nope. I pinned all my um, links to the top. If you want to no be notified when I go live, click on the one that talks about my bot. you sign up for my new YouTube channel if you want to be notified when I go when I do um, Second Chance Saturday. some twine here somewhere. I don't know if I want to add that. That does look pretty. In the middle there. Let's 
there. Now I can add a welcome sign to this. Um, if I wanted. I'm not sure I want to do that. Okay, so there's one pumpkin. Very simple. Just add some florals, a little bit of mesh, a stick, and we got ourselves a pumpkin. Okay, so that's one. Now, I think I showed you these a couple weeks ago. I had made some pumpkins. I went ahead and stuffed them and then took the twine and wrapped the twine around it like up through the middle. So I have three little pumpkins here. I do have more sticks. I thought that one looked really good for that one. Maybe add some of these underneath the stem. Sometimes you have to try a couple leaves, see what you like. I got leaves, so not liking that one. That looks kind of cute. I think we'll go with that one. And then stick some of these out too. Thank you, Anita. The witch turned out really good. I really liked it. All right. Get our stem in there. number two. Now this would look really cute. Sitting on top of this. Let's do this. Nice little centerpiece. And where this kind of clashes, we could put in some leaves like that. Tone it down some. Maybe it'd be better on just um, a clear one or one of my tins. That even looks cute all by itself. Don't really like it on that. The 
this one. Real rustic. I could put a bunch of um, straw in there and set it up. Like, about like that. I think I like that better. I'm trying to find something. Because I want it about that height. So I'll probably end up putting some styrofoam in there and then putting some straw in there. I think that'll that'll do what I'm trying to do. With these, if I want it also, I have these little tags that I can hang from it. Let's say blessed or whatever. Just the right color. Nope. Yeah, I kind of like the green on that. Try this leaf. a little yellow to that. I'm trying to find something that I can put in there that they'll all sit on. Let me see.
probably in the way, isn't it? Sorry about that. What I'm doing is using the leaves to cover up the fabric where I have it like um, bunched at the top. I want this up a little higher. And then what I'll do is cut some of this I can fill that all in, or I can use this stuff, or I think I have something else. That has all the colors, so maybe we'll just do that. arrangement number two. And that's just fabric. You could use hot glue, you don't have to sew. I don't know if I want to put any of that in there. I, think I like it just the way it is. If I wanted to, I could put a few of these leaves in here. I think I'll have this back here because there is that color in the orange there. These were just burlap leaves from the Dollar Tree. Or I have some that are glittery. But I think I like that just the way it is. Okay, that's arrangement number two. Well, Pumpkin set number two. All right. Are you with me so far? All right. Now this one is a paper plate holder. You can sometimes find these in orange, or you can go ahead and paint them orange. I found this in orange. For this, I took some wired ribbon and I braided it. I'm going to use that for the stem instead of the um, sticks. Thank you, Anita. If you guys could spread the love, I'd really appreciate it. I don't think everybody got the memo. <laughs> this might be better off 
inside. Turn this under and glue it back on itself. There are some funky rumors out there that something's going to happen to Facebook. So you all need to go to my YouTube channel and make sure you subscribe. Because if this goes down, you can find me there. All right. Now this I'm going to attach this little... Um, actually what I did was it was one of those wooden tags and I modged podged um, scrap of paper on it because my plan is to with my vinyl cutter write the word um, blessed so that's why that's like that I didn't get a chance to do that yet so I need to do that now I want something of color I think we'll try this Maybe I'll just use the plain wrap, yeah. Let's keep it plain. Okay. I did have some right here open. Darlene, welcome. We already did two pumpkins. We did this pumpkin. And then we did these three pumpkins. One of my um, thrift store finds, this metal pan. Shoo, excuse me. And then this Tupperware container. Ah. Shoo, excuse me again. So there's that. Okay. And now we're on project number three. We are taking this, this is for a paper plate, it's a paper plate holder. You can sometimes find them in orange, if not you can paint them. So, where is my, oh, I was looking 
for my needle. Well, should have been right there. Let's try and make a needle. I can make one out of wire. Thank you. I know where Yvonne Levon's from, and I know where Anita's from. Darlene, where are you from? Look at that. We didn't need the needle. I'm going to tie this on here, but I don't have the wording on it yet. I'm going to use my vinyl cutter and put the word um, blessed on there. Ohio, welcome. You're not that far from me then. I'm Pennsylvania. This was one of my um, thrift store finds. I was looking for the paper plate holders and they had them and they were already orange. So that worked out good. Now, I think we want a yellow one in there. Or we could add some acorns. And a sunflower. Let's take these. These leaves were from the Dollar Tree. They're um, burlap leaves. How are you? There's some talk out there with the about the FCC coming down on Facebook. So if I were you guys, I would make sure you're signed up for my YouTube channel. Because if Facebook goes down, you need to know where to see me. Let's try these leaves. Nope. Maybe these did look better. I like the green ones better. These are begonia leaves and they resemble um, a pumpkin leaf more than other leaves do. I think I like that. And then we could add a few of these in. Some peppers. Set my rope. I think it needs to be longer. Yes. I 
we'll just hot glue that right to the plate. That's cool. I live in northern central Pennsylvania. In fact, if you guys are up on Little Lake, Williamsport is only a, about a 15 minute drive from me and they're having the Little League World Series parade tonight. So I went into town this morning and got right the heck back out again. Because that is going to be a nightmare. So I'm right near that. Did I say hello, Ian? If I didn't, hello. putting this sunflower on there for Lavon. She loves sunflowers. And then like I said, I'll write the word blessed or fall or something like that on there. Does that look pretty? I want, I can curl that up a little bit. It doesn't want to curl. You'll have to pardon me, I have to blow my nose. <laughs> some of that to it too. This was just brown ribbon folded in half and braided. This could be a wall hanging. This could be on a, a student storm door. That would be cute. Or wouldn't have to write the word blessed, you could write the word um, welcome on there. Now, where's my rope? I'm just going to 
gonna glue a piece of this to the back as the hanger. And we're done with pumpkin number three. And sometimes you can use just a little leaf to cover up this on the back. So let's just cut off one of our leaves. That's part of it. Here we go. I always save these when I cut them off. I just it'll just make it look neater than it does plus it'll help compress it against the plate holder there we go look at that and you would never know Blue is really stringy today. There we go. I think I'm going to put a little raffia there too. I think it needs it. Am I putting everybody to sleep? Simple little wall hanging or in your office. Well, look cute in somebody's office. All right, so that's number three. Now, these reminded me of a pumpkin. So, 99 cents and 20% off today. <laughs> I just want to find the right leaf. Uh, leaf looks pretty good with it. But I do have some... Oh, shiny leaves. Where are they? what we can do with these. Okay, I don't know. Maybe we'll do a small farmhouse ribbon on the top of this and then add some leaves to it. Now that, that's a pretty good color match. But, and then there's this one too. So we could do like a wall hanging with these. We could add another one. Um, not sure about that. Nope. You must need something with color like this. So maybe if we just did a simple bow with this and this, and then put some accents on it. Let's try that. I mean, no, I saw that, Yvonne, but it's so far for me. It's like I would love to go there. I would love to just order. I've tried to several times, but I don't know. You have to have a pretty big order. And their, their website's really confusing to me. 
like I've tried to call them start over Also, you, some of you saw the pizza pans the other night. You could even make a pumpkin with the pizza pan. So you wouldn't need to go buy molds and stuff like that. decide whether to add raffia into the bow or not. I like these two together. So where is my bodabra? know if I could distress this. If I wanted to paint it orange, I could distress it. But I just picked them up today and I wanted to do just a bunch of pumpkins. So I wanted to flip my gourd. I will use a zip tie because these little little things have a little hook at the top. So I think I'll just zip tie the bow to the hook. Yes, I know that. And and believe me, what I order sometimes I could handle that, but you have to order such a quantity of things, you know. I tried to create a local group where we would all just order together. Well, I guess they thought I was trying to steal their ideas or something, and they didn't, they wouldn't talk to me after that. And it's like, hey, I'm just trying to save me money and you money. That's fine with me. Forget it. So... Slice the bow. That was stupid. Oh. A lot of I do that one. What I get. Another zip tie. Try it again. 
in. How did that not catch? Zip tie number three. Take two. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do a lot of you decorate country or you decorate what's your decorating style? I'm in country repurpose, you know, chicken. I love chickens. We have chickens. Let's see if I can not cut the bow this time. up with that there. Now if I wanted to, I could even add, you know, a little tag to it also, but I think I like it just the way it is. I mean, doesn't that look like a pumpkin? Like elongated pumpkin? Yes. I know, right? I think it really it pulls off the copper in here, these these colors. Like you you have the gourds and the pumpkin stems and stuff that match this green. And then if I had like three of them hanging, I do have three. I just brought out two to kind of show you they do resemble like a long pumpkin. And then this one, you could even do this. You could like, you know, do like a three, three wall hanging with the bows. And then, let me show you this. I got, um, where is it? got two of these. Now these are your traditional bunt pan, okay? You can spray paint these orange and make these into a pumpkin also. Or you spray both of them orange and make it look like a sitting pumpkin. You have your stem out the top here, your leaves. Would that look adorable? Oh, I know. But this was so cute with a big old stem up the top here. Like, okay, we go back to using the braided rope. Okay. And then you have your leaves. Flew, 
through um, a few um, little picks and stuff in there. It just looks so cute. I think it would make any, any table look adorable. Wouldn't it? And, okay. They were 99 cents and 20% off at the thrift store today. You can't beat that. They know me when I come in now. I hit all three of them. And I hit all three today. What are you going to do with this one? What are you going to do with that one? And see, I don't think I need to add anything else to this. Like, if I wanted, I could put some... I don't like those. I don't like that. One shelf is falling under here. Oh. But you've already got your hooks for hanging them. So why not make them part of... Look at that. That's just too big. I was trying just to find a leaf or something that would go with it. Well, that would, but... I think just the bow is enough. So let's make a bow for this one. Now with these, when they hang these up, you paint it, you paint it the, the orange, and this is all farmhouse. Then you have your, this going through the hole, that's your hanger. And then you add your bow right right in here. Now you could, if you wanted, you could attach this with some glue right to there and use this as your hanger. And then put your florals, ribbon, a big ass bow would, oh, a big bow would look really cute. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I am so sleep deprived today. I gotta watch my mouth. Sorry. Didn't mean to offend anybody. Was not my intention. But just in a in a wall grouping. I think they would just look so adorable. I have a a vintage like shelf outside well it's not vintage it's more um distressed and just looks old and i think i'm gonna hang these up in there i think that would be so cute and look you don't have to worry about them getting wet and if they fade in the sun you can just turn around and repaint them And if I really wanted to make them look, you know, like they were aged, I would spray paint them and then just scuff some of it off. <laughs> the bun pan, they actually just sit, you could use that E6000 glue, and they would actually just sit in the middle of your table. Don't tell anybody to bun. <laughs> Of course, anybody who watches this video is going to know. Oh, well. I got glue everywhere. Just glad Sherry wasn't watching with the little guy. That would be embarrassing. Although... You've probably heard it before. Not from Sherry, that is. I always want to zip tie it, but I want to zip tie it to the hook. I may just have to go and paint these and distress them up a little. see how they look or do one <laughs> oh I, I 
I am so glad my grandkids don't live local right now because whew, I gotta I gotta start learning to behave myself. caught in there this time, but it's too short on one side. Now if I was by myself, then I would be using that word. So I'm glad the dogs can't talk back. <gasps> know where everybody is. I know they're not working. Gonna have to get on some of them. I'm always there to support them. Where the heck are they? Don't forget to spread the love, please. Still trying to give away that wreath. I don't know. I think everybody needs to start checking their spam folder. See, I don't have a name. I just have an email address. And I'm not allowed to share the email address, but I'm allowed to email them. Okay, so there's number two. Now this one, let's go a little out there with this one. We'll still use those two colors, but I have some, I know, I thought they had another roll of it over here though. Add some of this to the back. Yes, you do count, Cheryl. Thank you. Just don't know where everybody else has gotten to. I don't know. Do you do you like them shiny, or do you think they would look better? this orange with like a matte finish. What, what are your thoughts? Because if you think they would look better the other way. Aw, thank you. Yvonne, one of these, or Yvonne, one of these, they, see my other girlfriend's name is Levon, is Yvonne. Ah. One of these days, you're either going to have to come up or I'm going to have to come down. And then I'm going to have to bring um, Sue with me. Thank you, Cheryl. I appreciate it. Is it a stressful day at work today or is it a good day? Is your boss in the, in the building? <laughs> what do you do? What's your job?
Okay, that's a good idea. Maybe I could just, oh, that's a good job. You make a difference in people's lives. That's awesome. That must be hard to do though. Watch people suffering all the time. I guess they adapt. I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna paint one. I have so many of them that I got. So I can paint one and see how it, how it does. Pumpkin. Sandra, we are making pumpkins. This is our one, two, three, fourth pumpkin arrangement. We are taking these jello molds and bunt pans and turning them into pumpkins. What do you think? Here's, this is a grouping. Let me just kind of shove this stuff to the side so you can see. See, we'd have, this one is fuller and longer, where this one's not as wide. This one's higher. And then see you have, here, maybe that would help if I held them up like that. So you've got a grouping, a wall grouping of pumpkins for the wall. Thank you. Three different sizes. What I did tell them earlier is you can take what I do with them. Oh. You can also take two of your traditional mud pans and glue them together. Put a stem up the top some leaves, paint this orange. Remember our, our pizza pan talk the other day? Yeah, right? Um, use the Krylon paint that they sell at Walmart. It's paint and primer in one. You can see, then you'd have a sitting pumpkin on your table. So that was the other idea. I gotta clean my room. <laughs> This was our other arrangement. These pumpkins were handmade by me. And then we put the stem in them and some, uh, they're sitting on a frame, a Tupperware container with a stand. And then this is a old like tin pan of some kind. So there's another grouping. Well, I think you do a lot. Okay, so that was number three. Or was that, no, that was number two. Then this was number four, or Number three. Yep, four, three, 
two. So we took a, a plate hanger and we made a pumpkin out of it. Hi, Connie. Yep, I had the times on there, dear. We made four different kinds of pumpkins. And here was the first one we did. And that was just out of a grapevine that I painted. We added a stick to the top, some leaves, a little mesh, some rope. So that was number one. I come on at two o'clock every Wednesday, Connie. This was number two, our plate. And I think these were like 79 cents at the thrift store and 20% off. Then I'm gonna add the word blessed or thankful or fall onto the little tag. Then we had this, which was our arrangement of three pumpkins that I made. And then this is our wall arrangement that we turned these jello molds into pumpkins. So am I out of my gourd? And I may paint these and distress them and see if I like them better that way. I'm not sure if I like them shiny, so I may use the matte finish, the um, orange that I have. And then remember, you can always do what we did with the pizza pans. And you can paint that orange and do the same thing that we did with the uh, grapevine or the plate. And this is Dollar Tree, so that's a dollar. So I think this will make my house look very festive. What do you think? These are just sticks from the yard that we hot glued down in there in the top. When I made these, it was just a cylinder. I tied it off at both ends and then just used this twine that I just kept going back in and coming back out. So I made sections with the twine. Thank you, Sandra. So I think it gave you enough pumpkin ideas. I'm trying to see if there was anything else that I came across today. Just more, more of the jello molds and lids. I have something I'm going to do with um, pot lids soon, so I have those. I haven't decided what I'm going to do on Saturday yet. Aw, oh, thank you. Alright guys, I think we, um, I gave you some ideas for non-traditional pumpkins if you like decorating that way. Okay. I picked up some of those cornucopia baskets. Um, I picked up a few more baskets. So, got a lot of upcoming ideas. Especially, don't forget to sign up to be notified when I go live on YouTube because um, it'll be Second Chance Saturday. Bye, Cheryl. Thank you. Okay. 
All right, everybody, you have a good evening. And thank you for joining me and spreading the love. I really appreciate it. All right, have a good evening.